Hello and welcome back and today I want to talk about CES 2020 and more precisely I want to talk about a brand new NAS from the guys at Acer Store. Now I say a brand new NAS, it is kind of a sidestep from an existing device. I want to talk about the Locker Store 10 Pro. Now I don't know if it's live by the time of this video, both on NAS compares here on YouTube and more, but um, Acer Store released a NAS called the Locker Store 10 at the closing stages of 2019. It was their new 10 bay enabled device that arrived with 2.5 GBE ports, 10 GBE ports, NVMe SSD caching inside, and a whole host of software features from ADM. It was a very impressive device and it's very, very new. So this is not a replacement for that NAS. But what this is, is the same kind of 10 bay NAS solution, but geared to a much, much bigger operation because for those that watch my locker store 10 video you'll know and if it has already gone live i apologize if it hasn't yet i'm getting there i'm getting there the locker store 10 uh prod um uh, solution is a 10 bay so that's all sata base connectioned nas for desktop it was a compact solution that was designed to give you enormous storage throughput speeds with the added support of ssd cache in individual bays and nvme ssd cache from dedicated bays inside so what makes this different to the pro well first and foremost it is the processor the locker store 10 pro arrives with a much much more powerful cpu now, one of my real only criticisms of the Locker Store 10 when I did my review, and if, you know, again, I hope it's live, stop repeating that. Um, the Locker Store 10 gave you those two 10 GBE ports over copper, and it gave you two um, 2.5 GBE ports also over copper. So you had a potential 25 GBE of throughput via a system of link aggregation or via a system of pairing them or using them individually one by one across your network. But the Locker Store 10 arrived with the Intel C3538, a Deviton or Atom CPU. Now, don't get me wrong, that CPU can definitely handle one or two of those ports. It can maybe lag the 2.5 and the 10 GBE ports, one and one, and it can definitely link aggregate or port trunk those 2.5s. But that processor will definitely present slight limitations when you're trying to combine those two 10 GBEs. Indeed, if you head over to Acer Store's own pages for the Acer Store 10, you will see that their speeds possible weren't 2,000 megs and 2,000 megs read and write. Now, there are ways you could have done that. You can kind of fuss with the MTU, the jumbo packet, um, uh, jumbo frame, or you can do certain tests with different kinds of files. You know, you can rig the benchmark, and they didn't do that. What they did is present a very realistic uh, read and write speed, what the, uh, the Locker Store 10 is possible, uh, uh, able to do. Now, the Pro version of this device, the Locker Store 10 Pro, is a different kettle of fish. Arriving with a quad-core Xeon-based CPU, that processor will really bring it to the table. It is a processor that will definitely help you amply take advantage of that NVMe SSD caching and the tremendous throughput that the right RAID on 10 bays of SATA storage can give you. It is a powerhouse device because of that processor. Now, both of these units arrive with the support of DDR4 memory, with the Pro arriving with 8 gig of DDR4 ECC error correction memory with an upgradability up to 32 gig. The Pro does not invalidate the non-Pro. The Luxstore 10 and the Luxstore 10 Pro are very, very similar, but with different target end users in mind. With the former, uh, the uh, non-Pro arriving with support of 10 GB and 2.5 GB, GBE and giving you tremendous throughput and support for things like virtualization with VirtualBox, surveillance center, turning the NAS into an MVR, all of those multimedia and backup applications too, as well as container applications and basically all the things that a business user is gonna need combined with a huge amount of storage potential. The Pro gives you all of those features and then dials them all up. That CPU, don't get me wrong, is not graphically embedded, doesn't have a transcoding engine, but in terms of raw power, it can get 
over that. It just needs to use a bit more oomph. Now, this device is not to be confused with the cabinet store that I talked about during the summer. It is not an Intel um, uh, 8th Gen i3 or i5. It doesn't have an HDMI, uh, HDMI output. This is a powerhouse NAS designed for tremendous throughput, whether it's out the back of all of those 10 and 2.5 GPU ports working together into your network, making sure your end users get the very best bandwidth they can, or internally taking advantage uh, of those 10 bays in the right RAID with the SATA and giving you huge speeds that if they're not enough, you can pop in a couple of NVMEs which have got 1800 to 3000 megabytes per second performance and give you the right storage potential you've always wanted, as well as a whole host of first and third party app support from Asus Store. Now, I am looking forward to seeing how the Pro and the non-Pro compare. I've only briefly had the non-Pro device in my um, studio, so I'm looking forward to see how they compare when I've got them both on the table. But for that, I'll let you know. Do stay tuned for more releases from CES 2020 here on the channel and on NAS Compares, and do visit the links in the description to both NC and SPAN. I'll see See you next time.